So in the very beginning, it was really、uh, twofold. One is、uh, I needed something that provides the similar、uh, reactive view updating features that Angular had, but I didn't want all the other baggages that came with Angular, which is a very monolithic framework. On the other hand, I wanted to just experiment and sort of use it as a hobby project to just—it's、uh, also a learn better JavaScript、yeah. in some way. Absolutely.、Yeah. What problems did you set out to solve when you started writing Vue?、Um, yeah. So when I started working on Vue, I was working at Google as、mm-hmm. a creative technologist, and、um, the kind of projects we worked on were really. Experimental. They are kind of go go fast as as fast as possible. Turn out、yeah. a lot of prototypes. Get the ideas into something tangible as fast as possible. So、um, for a very long time, I, when I started learning JavaScript, right, I just learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Yep.、Uh, didn't really learn any frameworks. I tried a little bit of Backbone, but felt that it didn't really help me that much with the type of work that I do because. Backbone only gave you the structure. It didn't give you this sort of automatic binding between state and and the view, right?、Yep. And、uh, that was when a colleague of mine started using Angular, Angular JS, the、mm-hmm. the version one, in some、right. of the projects. And I and I saw that, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. So you can actually use the template syntax and get everything just to automatically update. So it got me curious and. I didn't actually bother looking into how Ang- Angular actually worked because、yeah. I felt okay. This is something I can build myself. So in the very beginning, it was really、uh, twofold. One is、uh, I needed something that provides the similar、uh, reactive view updating features that Angular had, but I didn't want all the other baggages that came with Angular, which is a very、yeah. monolithic framework. On the other hand, I wanted to just experiment and. Sort of use it as a hobby project to just.、Um, it's also a learn better JavaScript、yeah. in some way. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that that's really how it started.、Yeah. Great. That makes sense. Good answer.、Um, and then I really like this、uh, this next question. It says Vue JS is the favorite front front end framework among my Python friends. Why do you think Vue is so popular with backend folks?、Uh, I think it, it's twofold, right? The first is、um, Vue is now in the beginning. Vue is designed to be the term that we coined is the progressive framework. The idea is that the initial adoption we want to make that barrier as low as possible. Which means, like when you start learning Vue, you don't need to say install. Like 200 modules、yep. of, of Node.js modules, you can just start in the browser. You can link view from a CDN or just as a single script, and then you can get something on your screen. So, the initial point of integration with any backend framework can be as low barrier as possible, right?、Yep. Literally, you just add a script tag, and you, you can get view going on your page.、Mm-hmm. I think that is very important because,、uh, you know, for backend developers, they don't necessarily Like especially for the type of apps you're building, right?、Um, when we talk about modern front end, we think about complex single page applications with rich interactions. But not all types of apps are really like that. For a lot of apps, you know, backend developers they are used to build apps that's mainly server focused. You render something on your page that's already coming from the server, and then you add lighter interactions on top of that. And I think Vue fits that use case really well,、uh, but at the same time, you you can have the same knowledge that carries over when one day you say, okay, maybe this should be an SPA. So I'll do an SPA, and Vue can do that too. Yep. Right. So、uh, I, I think this is where the the progressive framework concept really kind of plays well with、uh, people coming from backend frameworks. Very cool. Um, and then moving on, I did want to kind of focus on Vue three,、uh, which which brings us here.、Um, but can you tell us some of your favorite features in Vue three?、Um, just one feature or a couple? And did you run into any interesting challenges you had to solve during its development?、Uh, yeah, my favorite feature is probably script setup,、mm-hmm. which we shipped in three point two. Yep.、Um, so the thing is, when we came up with Composition API, I knew that it had potential, but One of the major pain points for users to sort of adopt it is they felt that it's 
like the initial impression for a lot of people is that it became more verbose compared to Options API. But Script Set really kind of turns that whole conversation around uh, because now with Script Setup, a lot of people start to think, okay, like Composition API with Script Setup is actually cleaner or more less verbose compared to Options API, and it yeah. gives you a bit more. Freedom and flexibility, right? So I think it really helped, sort of changing the perception for a lot of people uh, on Composition API, which I think is is great because um, it's kind of hard to push people past the initial hurdle if the in it like you know the first impression they get is okay, I'm actually writing more code than I used to, and then they once you get past that, you get to better appreciate like the other capabilities that Composition API was supposed to. Give you, so I think uh, Scripts have really kind of achieved its job there. Yeah, I guess there's some interesting challenges, of course, when implementing it, but、um, mostly it's about finding the right compile output. In fact,、uh, we eventually the the compile output of Script Setup would be more efficient than the non Script Setup equivalent because we were actually able to compile in a way that gets rid of the Component instance proxy altogether,、mm -hmm. so everything is actually in the same function scope. So, with script setup, every expression in your template that accesses something in your script actually is accessing it directly in the same function scope, instead of grabbing it over through a instance object. So that instance object, that property access, actually has a cost. So script setup, the compile output actually gets rid of that cost. 